everybody. This is Pam with the Paper Outpost. Uh, today we're going to be making a master board full of junk journal scraps um, and we're going to be creating some tiny tags from it. I've done a tiny tag video before but we're going to be doing it a little differently today. Today the base is going to be a 12 by 12 piece of thin scrapbook paper. So it's just pretty paper on one side and blank on the other and then we're going to be using um, the scraps that Pam has amassed on her desk. First of all, I want to show you a quick uh, review of the, this kind of looks weird, doesn't it? But it's, it's actually kind of pretty in real life. It looks kind of weird. It looks like weird pasta or something on the camera. But this is a, a board. It's not a board. It's like a piece of cardboard covered in buttons. And then I poured some micro beads over the top of it. Do I still have a micro bead in here? Oh, I don't know where it went. But they're tiny little metal beads and they fill in the gaps. And then you can run glue and they will pick up the microbeads if you pour the microbeads over it. I just wanted to see if that would work as a fun play thing. And then I was worried the microbeads would come off. So I sprayed it with this. It's a US, uh, or it's a US, it's a UV archival satin uh, acrylic spray sealer. And let's do the test. Okay, rubbing. This is like gentle rubbing. Nothing came out. Firmer rubbing. Huh, nothing came off. I did get, I did pre-test this because I kind of, I kind of knew. Pretty good. Now, not even one came off. So if you really got in there and dug, dug, dug with your finger, I think they would come off. But it does work. I wanted you to know that you could use this type of a sealer as opposed to a Mod Podge on top to seal in the micro beads, prevent them from coming off. What could this be used for, you ask? Well, Maybe you want to do cover art. This might not be the piece I would use on here because I need more contrast than that. Or you could use it as a big um, pocket or a tuck in a journal. That would be cool. It could be a bookmark. Um, could be a be belly band, a journal tag. A lot of fun things you could make with this. It could be um, whatever your imagination sets free. So that aside. Okay, so we just want to get back to the task at hand. Here's the back side of the, um, oh, here's the micro bead jar. If anybody was looking for that, that's what it looks like. That's the company. That's what it looks like. Mm. You zoom. There you go. There you go. Okay. Zooming back up. Okay. And I zoom with my phone. That's what everybody asked me. How do you zoom so fast? It's my phone. Um, Samsung 23 Ultra. Okay. Um... Okay, there's a few micro beads down here from that later last project. Okay, so to make the board of masterness, what are we going to do? Okay, so I have some stuff just sitting here randomly. It's from projects that we've done. I'm going to now glue the stuff. It's very technical. I'm going to use, you can use any glue really here. Um, I'm going to, Jesus, this glue is strong, people. I can't even get the glue. But, oh, there we go. Okay. I'm into the uh, Scotch Creek glue stick. Hard to find these days, but still out there in some places. Um, and any really any glue stick is going to work here. I just maybe do this in quarters because the glue stick will dry. And then I try to be pretty, you know, free flowing about the entire process. Not get my knickers in a twist. Not try and create a Rembrandt. Just get the stuff glued down. Okay, can we say that? Get the stuff glued down. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, uh, some old music that's pretty you can always trim the edges so don't get all like worry fuss fuss on the edges like don't like oh my god my edges are not no 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 you just keep moving keep moving forward it's all good it's really hard to make a mistake with this Oop. Um, okay and maybe I'm just going to do piecemeal squaring here upside down right side up doesn't matter this is just background art these are little bits and pieces of pretty little papers that I just thought could have another life. And um, here they are having another life. Okay, are you drying on me? No, you're actually okay still. All right. So it goes along pretty quickly, as you can see. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. There's no right or wrong color matching, anything like that. You just go in there and use up those scrap Okay? I want you to feel good about it. Move forward. I sneezed a couple times, sorry. Um, all right. Okay, different. Good. Okay. 
And so there's not glue here, obviously. But um, And if there's holes or gaps, it's okay because you can always go in and layer things on top of that. So it's a very easy process. It's very relaxing. It's a great way to use up all your scraps. You can also do this in a book. You are doing it in an old fiction book and laying down these pretty pieces of paper or scraps in the fiction book as, and using it as a way to store um, little master boardy kind of picture pieces. I think I'm going to use that. Okay, this has got some thickness to it. Probably not going to use that. Okay. You too? You have thickness to you? You do? You have thickness to you. Look at that. Oh, oh, we'll let you go. It's okay. It's okay to let some pieces go, Pam. It is. It's okay. Okay, this is a nice piece. I want to use that for sure. An old ledger piece. And, oh, you're thick. I'm going to get rid of you. Um, oh, I feel so good about using up my scraps. It's just a dandy day. Okay. Again, no right or wrong way to do this. And you can go in different directions. There's no no rules to be had here. No rules. No rules in the house. No rules in the house. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, and you can just leave it as is, or you can go back and add little things. And that's okay, too. And I just put that there. You know? Okay. And put a little bit here. All right. Now, oh, it's still tacky. Good. All right. So you get you get a few minutes with the uh, the. You can say it, Pam. Do it. Just say it. Scotch Creek glue stick. Okay, I said it. All right. No, you're thick. Thin piece. Okay. Maybe I want to lay down a little more here. Anybody can do this. This is a very easy beginner technique. And if you don't do anything other than glue down your scraps, what if you don't have cool scraps? I know. I know you're going to say that. I heard you. I heard you in the back. Use what you got. That's what you do. Use what you got because always you can build upon it. Things don't have to be gorgeous and amazing from the get-go. No, you can make them gorgeous and amazing as you go. That's the whole, that's the whole ticket. Okay. Um... Oh, here's a nice little piece. Okay. Now this little piece, so it has some pretty little writing on it. Maybe I want to, maybe I want to put him here. See, there was no little blank spot. I just put him there because um, I'm trying to clean up my desk here a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is kind of cool. This a little ribbony weird thing that can be like layered on there, but not yet, not yet, Pam. Slow down. Okay. Um. Still want to do my base. Come on, I'm not out of scraps. That can't happen. Okay, here's a scrap. It just doesn't happen. It's not real. I don't believe it. Not for a second. <laughs> so these are some, just something I cut off of something. One day, you can use whatever colors you want. Doesn't matter. Who made this mess? Hello, will you please step forward and identify yourself? Oh, it was me. <laughs> Imagine that. I know. I know. Okay. So let me take this little interesting piece here. I love these old creamy caramel just bits and pieces of paper. Sometimes those are the most interesting. And you run them over the glue stick like that, you know? It's just kind of cool. And you can bridge little pieces together like this. You know, there's no you don't have to always go right side up or upside down. Um you can go in different directions. Here's another little piece of whatnot. Okay, maybe we'll put you here. We'll just build this way. Interesting little piece. Are you sticky down here? Yes. Down here. There we go. And what are you? Oh, you're like a little heart ski. Okay. Put you here. All right. Get in there. It's all right. Okay. That's good. It's as good as it gets. That's what it's telling me. It's as good as it gets, Pam. These little notes from people. I love that. I love to co incorporate those into uh, master board pieces too. You can use anything. It's always available to you. All your stuff, your paper scraps. What's this? Here's a big piece. Mm. I'm put this over here. Get that little glue. 
you can just make a bunch of master boards. Just sit down, make a bunch of these, use up all your scraps, and feel really darn good about it. Yeah, I'm just saying, you can do that. And it's a good day. It's always a good day when that happens. It is right from the get-go. Uh-huh. Well. Mm, over here. Okay. You can overlap them. You can abut them, as I have just abutted. I know. It's a little sticky when I do this because there's glue on the thing. And I can trim this. I can trim that all off later. What am I doing? I can do it all later. What's better than now? Later. Later is better than now. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put you in there. I never know what to do with you, so you're going in here now. You are now becoming part of a master board. We're not judging. We're just being free-flowing. Look at us. We. We're go just going. We. <laughs> Here's a little piece of something. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, I know it seems like I don't have any scraps. I really do. I have a million. I don't know why it's difficult for me to locate them today, but it is. Because I've got a pile of stuff, and in there are the scraps somewhere. Okay. There we go. All right. And kind of the odder the pieces, the cooler it is. I don't know what it is. It's just kind of cool. All right. Let me put you here. You can overlay. That's all right. It's okay. It's your paper. No, you don't need any permission. Odds are nobody's watching. Maybe you have family and friends around. Maybe you're just hanging out by yourself. A lone crafter, but is a, a, a very happy person because there's peace in the house. And you can just relax. Here's a nice little what's that? Oh, we decorated those. Those should be turned into, oh, I'm going to turn into, I don't know. Um... This. Okay, so I'm going to cut something out of it. I'm going to put you over here. All right. Okay, we'll trim that. And what else do we have? Little bits. Little bits. More of this little bit. Okay. Put you here. I'm going to put you over there. All right, put you down a little bit. Get you to the edge. What else we got this? This little weird thing. Uh, glue the back of you. Sometimes it's easier to glue the back of the item. And then you can glue the whole thing down. There we go. All right. Okay. There's a little bus uh, ticket. Tie bus ticket. Um, I just fit right in here nicely. Doesn't matter if it's upside down or right side up. It just doesn't matter. No, it's all good. It's all good. This, this is like a little circle I cut out of something. We're just going to put it in there. It's right there. I don't know why. We're just going to do that. I try not to overthink it. A little butterfly we could place down there somewhere. I'm, I'm starting to get into the smaller decorating. You don't have to do this, but sometimes where these corners connect, it's kind of fun to put a little connector piece like that. Okay, there's a little bit there. And I have a little bit here. Oh, it's got writing on it. Very nice. Okay. There we go. A little tiny piece there. You'll put a little stamp there. Just have these still sitting on my desk. You can add little bits and bops, little pieces of interest, or not. Just plain, plain little pieces of paperwork too. There's a little odd piece of. Oh, it's a, it's a sticker. It's an apothecary label. I'll oh, maybe we'll put you on there. It's for fun. Yep. Okay. Put you down here. It's up there. Okay. And some garbage. All right. The creation is upon us. What is this? That might work. It might just cover up all that strangeness down there. Sometimes these little oddball pieces come in handy. There we go. All covered. A little something there. We just need a little something. All right, I'm looking. Of course, you know, can find the last something. Where's the something? I know there's something here. Here, here's some pieces. Oh, I have a heart. That might work. Yeah, that could work there. Okay, that'll work. It's a paper heart I punched out on another random day doing something somewhere. It's like a 
coffee dyed a little heart. Okay, so now we have a base to work with. And I think what I'm going to do is just turn it over and trim off this using the old metal ruler tearing technique, which is just sometimes faster and easier and more convenient than anything else. So now we have a. Did I get enough glue in there? Maybe not. Okay, more glue? What? More glue. All right. Do we have enough glue, Pam? Oh, get it down there. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Stick ya. Okay. So here's a nice base. And um, maybe one more little piece that happens um, over here, just to say this is complete. And there we go. And I'll just tear this off. Okay. There we go. All right, so now we have that. That's pretty good. And what I'd like to do is do, um, we were talking about the tree stencil. And I was supposed to find out whether it was still there. Are you looking for my tree stencil? I'm over in my stencil section. Oh, I found one. Okay, so it's a big tree stencil that I love to use. And let's see, I need my mm, like condensed paddle brush makeup dauber thingy. It's a dense bristle brush, paddle brush. You could do this with any color too. It could be green, it could be brown. Maybe I'm going to use multicolors. Maybe I'm going to use several multicolors. That would be fun. All right, so this is taking the whole thing and laying over something on top of it. Maybe I should work with you know, black. black. Nope, not there. Okay, black, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hiding under something right over here. Uh, okay, let's... Should probably go lighter to darker. So maybe green first. I'll get my spritzer out. This is just clear water. Wake up my ink a little bit, just so that the the dauber has this little paddle brush has lots of juicy ink to jump into. Okay, maybe I like to go over the edge a little bit because if you go, see how the stencil has an edge on it, this blank edge. If you, if you want design all over your paper, then take the stencil part right to the edges, and this can be lightly done, heavily done. You can do a little bit and then take a look because you can kind of realign back where the design was. See, it's coming a little bit there. We lay over again. We can kind of follow the design if we got lost. I'm totally lost now. Um, there, I can see where it matches now. Put it in there. And you're, you're pretty good. You know what I mean? It's like not bad, we'll call it. Okay. All right. You can be ginger about it. You can be gingerly um, or you can be a little, you know, heavy handed with the ink is fine. Making it darker or lighter, whatever you like. I think you can do sections that are green, sections that are brown, sections that are blue. Okay, what does it look like? It looks like that so far. Okay. I'm not even really worried if it matches up exactly. It's okay. It's okay. So the next color I would think it might maybe be a blue. Now you can get a different paddle brush of blue. I don't feel like going back over there. So I'm going to stay right here with you guys. Wet my ink and cross pollinate. You're not supposed to do this, but it's my pad. It's my party and I know, but if I, you know that song? I'm not singing it. YouTube doesn't like that. Um, okay. There we go. So you can see a little bit more intensity of the color. All right. You can kind of. Twist, pounce. You can you can pounce. Yeah, you can twist, pounce. Just get it on there. You know what I mean? It's just a process. It was get it on there. Sometimes I'm rougher with my supplies. Sometimes I'm really gentle and delicate, like a little ballerina flower coming by. Not today. No, ballerina flower has left the building, and pouncer has returned. All right. So you want to kind of see what it looks like. Okay, so now we have some. It's a little more intense now, but it's doing a gradient across the page. It's kind of cool. Okay, I'm just going to move my stencil a little bit so it goes to the edges. Like I said, I'm not really too worried about it matching up exactly because a lot of this will be cut up. And you won't even know what started where or when. It'll be like, where? Where are we? Nobody knows. That's what it's going to be like. 
Okay, here we go. Get this down. The most important thing is you have fun with the process. Yeah. Don't get all hung up about the particulars. No. This stuff, they're basically toys. Who are we kidding? These are toys to be played with. Just get in there and play with them. Don't worry about everything so much. Oh, no, no. Just get in there, dob, pounce, play. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're going to advance to the next color, which will be brown. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll do the arc side because we get this is vintage photo. Oh, I don't think I told you this was broken china and this was peeled paint. Okay, so we're going to go into vintage photo oxide. Okay. Oxide just means there's a pigment along with the dye in there. It's a little bit more intense of a color, but it um, just, just takes a smidge longer to dry. Not a big deal, really, but um, very, uh, I don't know, I think it's pretty good. Okay. Okay, the brown here, the brown. Uh, more, more I want more branches in that corner. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Okay, you give me some brown branches, sister. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, we know what we're doing. No, we don't know what we're doing. We're just doing it. That's, that's the fun. Right there. Right there. That's the juicy fun. Okay, here we go. Okay, so pretty backgrounds, pretty backgrounds. You can do sections. You can move it around. Do like, like something that make it look a little different over here. Okay, what do we got? All right, that looks looking kind of cool already, right? Okay, so let's do one more layer of coloring just for fun. We're playing, really playing today with black soot. Good old black soot distress ink. You can also get the oxide. Most I just haven't had the ink today because it's pretty good color. Okay, here we go. I'm totally mucking this one up. I like the muddiness of this one. The mixed color hue muddiness. Yeah, I do. I like it. Okay, now we're getting some dark color. I'm going to go around the edges. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of see what it looks like. You can always come back and do more. Can always come back and do more. So nothing wrong with doing some, taking a peek, which we'll do. Ooh, yeah, it's bringing it up like to a different level of intensity. You can also flip your stencil around and do it over here. Okay. And it's mixing the colors together at this point. It's totally fine by me. I have no problem with that. I'm like, okay. All right, let's see what we got now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's a little bit more over here. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So now I have this cool paper. Now you could totally leave it as is and do, you could just put this aside and use it another day. A book cover, a book page, um, cut this up into pockets and tucks and stuff like that. But today we're going to be making some tiny tags. And I think maybe I'll use half of this page because that would make a lot of tiny tags. Um... I'm going to use this self-healing craft mat, cutting mat. Somebody wanted to know the name of that. That's what I call it, the self-healing cutting mat, craft mat. The nice sharp blade. Go down with my Westcott ruler. It's just the one brand I like, but even any metal ruler will be fine. Um, this is my favorite. Okay. Get back on there. Okay, no, I removed the glue. Look at that. Need more glue. More glue alert. Okay. There we go. Put you aside, and we'll work with this piece. Okay, so now, I can probably even cut this in half. So this will go a long way. You could use one master board for multiple things, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. There we go. Now, we have this. So basically, we're just going to cut it up. You can cut it up into mid-sized ones. I'm using my craft mat again. Edging the corner there. That's going to help me. And then make sure this lines up wherever I want to cut it. And then I can make smaller ones. I can make wider ones. See, it's totally up to you. That's kind of the nice thing about it. You have full control. May not come out the way you plan, but you do have full control. Okay. Now these, maybe. Ah, pick it up. Okay. Maybe I want to cut these in half. Make more tag size. 
Really, they're not going to be beside each other, so it doesn't even matter if they're lined up. I just go ahead and cut them. There we go. All right. I have a bunch of little tags. And you can do anything with the edges. I mean, this is where you get a little bit creative and fun. I'm going to take these pretty little scissors and in the middle of it. Um, and maybe just trim the edges, make some tags. Maybe to the bottom, that'll be cute. That one. And then this one, maybe I'm just going to cut across the top and the bottom, whatever. The, maybe I'm going to go all the way around. Maybe this one's going to have a, you can use these for gift cards. You can use these for little things to tuck into junk journals or um, you can make little pockets and tucks out of these tiny little things. So there's just so many things you can do with this. Now it's already decorated on the back. So if you did want it to be a removable, you could totally do that. Um, just like around on top. Now this could be a label as a little tag, you know, I mean, it's kind of going off the tag idea, but you could turn that into a little label because there's so many different things you can do with these. Um, let's see. I'll just do the sides. Oops. Okay. And I cut that off. Very well go. Oh, I'll do. Oh, you're just going to, are you going to, we need to glue you down better. Glue you down. All right. And um, did I get, I did go all the way around. So let's do one where we do angles and all around. Didn't do that. Nope, didn't do that. A little different. And the top's already done. So I got that one. And this one. So you cut you straight across. And the top and the bottom. Okay, that's different. Okay. And this little guy, maybe we'll just do his two sides. Keep the edges top and the bottom straight. Now, there's a million one ways you could decorate each one of these. We'll just show you a couple. First of all, you can get in there with your little inkers. Maybe I'm going to use black. That's a brown. Maybe I'll use brown because it's a brown. Brown dauber. I like to keep these a little bit more. And this makes them look a little bit more vintage. It's really cute. It's just a fun way to use your scraps up in masterboard style. Okay. And then it's up to you how you want to decorate them. They're already decorated on the back, so they could be removables. They could be, you could take a bunch of these and hang them from spine jewelry, which would be very fun. Very fun to do. Just like this raining of uh, cool little tags. And um, let's say you want to place maybe an eyelet, something like that. Here's the old crocodile. And let me get the little, the eyelets of littleness. All right, where are you? Nowhere to be found, of course. Whoops. No, okay, here we go. I knew I had a little bucket of these. Here. This is the crocodile, original crocodile, and this this end piece is the eyelet setter. This is the eyelet cutter. This is the big hole. This is the little hole. We're going to use the bigger hole, I think. Okay, the big hole is the I put the one with the red on it. I remember that's the bigger hole. It's a 3 16 Yep. Okay, that wasn't exactly in the middle, but you know, we do our darndest around here. We do. We do our darndest. I'm going to use a copper one. It should go right in the hole. And if you use the little nipple, silver nipple, and the flying disc, then you should be able to put the little nipple in the top, going down into the way you want the eyelet to look. And then you have set your eyelet. And that, that's cute, right? And you, you can put like a little, I don't know, like a little... Um, string or ribbon or something like that that's fun to do. Oh, okay. I'm going to do a gold one this time. You can change up the colors of the eyelets. Again, putting the nipple on top, silver nipple, to this flying saucer silver down below. And you're doing that. And these are just dandy. Um, very fun. You can use, like I said, you can use these for gift tags too, which are really cute and very personalized 
lovely. Here's like a brown, I don't know, like a brownie black. Come here. <laughs> a brownie black antique one. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right. Silver nipple on top. I got to tell myself that because if you do it the other way, it won't work well and you'll be not, you'll not be happy. So these, these come together pretty quickly. Um, if you do them in a similar way, or you could do them all different and just have a lot of fun with it too. The silver one here, because that's going into the dark. It's for some reason a thousand degrees in this craft room right now. Maybe I'm having a hot flash. That could be. All right. It happens. You know what I can what do. We carry on. We craft on. That's how we make it through. Get in there. What's going on? You don't want to fit? Fine. I'll go find somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, you're not going to stop my fun. There, you fit. I don't know. I bought a bunch of different ones, so I don't really know which ones work the best. But if you get the We Are Memory Keeper ones that 316th with this, then they're pretty much going to work. But if you, you want to buy the off round, that's fine too. Okay, so that's that's good to start. Um, maybe I'll just ink these up a little bit. And if you want to put more on these, of course you can. You can just, you can add um, like a random cluster or something to one. You can, just for example purposes, I'll show you. Um, what are we looking at here? No. Oh, okay. I'll get you a little closer and then a little so you can see. Okay, that would be nice, right? Okay, so we made these random clusters of just pieces of scraps put together. I'm going to shorten them up a little bit. Make it more stubby. Put you on there. And maybe, I don't know, what do you got on here? Brown? All right, well, we'll decorate you up with a little brown. Make you brown so you can change the color pretty quickly of these and age them up a little bit. And maybe you just want to stick that on there. Um, maybe you want to edge it in black. Where's black? I don't have black. Black top. I'm using the brown dover. It's so wrong in so many ways, but I'm, I'm doing it. So I really want it to look distressed and vintagey. Oh, I know, I know. More than I want more brown. I could just stick it. I could just stick this right in the... There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, we're, now we're like smudgy, smudgy. Okay. There. Is a glue, a little bit of glue, and stick that down. And then we want to put a little thing. Do we want to put a little thing there? Maybe a button. That might be cute. But where's the buttons? Oh, here they're right beside me. Okay. Um. Okay. Nice little flat button would be nice right there. It's not super flat, but it'll work. That's cute. Um. Okay. And you can even this will this will hold a button too. Strong enough glue. Light fabric. It will work. Okay. So you have that one. And then um, maybe you want to come here. Use your peg stamps, which are round stamps. And maybe you want to put some that in black and just put some stamp, more design on it, like that. You can totally do. Because it's yours. Okay. I'm going to do that. And then this one. Maybe here. I just happen to have this here. So we'll work with it. Nouveau drops. Crystal drops. Um, and the, the angle is uh, down, up, down, up, down, up. Here, I'm just going to follow along this tree line here. Just maybe I'll put like some flowery things like blossoms or something. On the edge of little tree designs. That's fun. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we got that one. So it's pretty easy to to decorate. And then you can take, um, here I have this on my right in front of me, my colored pencil and maybe purple and blue. And maybe I just want to back shade this. I just want to show you like random little things that you can do to up the design. This is like shadowing almost. Just on the one side, the back sides of all the elements. And it just gives it a different shadowy look. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do decorating of these. And you can even take a word stamp. Let's just get any word. Here's a word. Dream. You can buy these anywhere. eBay, you can buy used ones. That's fine. Etsy, you can buy them. And all goes well. We'll have the word dream on there. 
So that's kind of cool. So just a fun way to make some um, fun little baby tags or uses in your junk journal. Um, Sunshine, where are you? Uh, we have things to report. The paper outpost, we're doing an extremely long video today for some reason because we just had extra fun making. Oh, are you ready for your pup date? I am I'm ready for my pup date. Okay, uh, I have so much to say, but I'm going to keep it concise like we talked about, Mom. I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. Okay, go ahead. Hello, everybody. It's too big, Mom. My face is too big. Okay, I'm working on it. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. Um, Cub Pup Reporter here, reporting succinctly today. Um, it rained a lot. There was thunder, and I was not happy. I was not having any of it. I was shaking like a little puppy leaf, and I had to be held and cuddled and reassured that the big um, sky monsters were not going to eat sunshine. They, in the end, did not eat sunshine. Sunshine lives to tell the story. Love y'all. Sunshine, out. Okay, thank you. Yes, we do have to deal with the sky monsters every once in a while. Um, yeah, it's rainy season from now till November. Here we go, folks. I hope you're having fun. Um, I, well, let's see. I, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. It's um, uh, paper crafting, life of a crafter, junk journaling, and answering your crafty questions from YouTube. Um, you can also watch my video podcasts any day of the week on Spotify. I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find journals and bundles and kits when they're available. Um, you're also going to find DigiKits all the time there. They're printable, downloadable images and themed uh, 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 packages such as birds, Victorian, butterflies, dragonflies, all sorts of different kinds of flowers, botanicals. I was over 270 to pick from. And I also have a print and mail option. If you don't like to print, I will print them out for you in packs of 10. You just buy the print and mail option and then send me the list of the 10 digit names that you want. I only need the first two or three words and those will be on their way to you. And then I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, I have links for them in there. That's a, an affiliate uh, links, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much for your support. I also am found on social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. And remember, most of all, fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care. Bye.